In the past year, we as smartphone enthusiasts and analysts have seen a massive growth in the sales of Chinese smartphones worldwide. With massive companies like Huawei, OnePlus and Xiaomi expanding to the West, catching up to and in some cases surpassing their Korean and Japanese competitors. I often walk past my local carrier stores to see Huawei and Oppo phones in place of where the Samsung and LG phones would sit years prior. But I want to break down the numbers and delve deeper into just how much of an impact on market share these Chinese brands have made on everything and indeed how the market sits. As an IT student and an absolute lover of data, this stuff really interests me. So hopefully I can educate and interest you at the same time. Hey guys, my name is Ryan Thomas with Failtech and this is the Worldwide Market Share. I want to preface that I'm getting all of my data and research from a website called counterpointresearch.com. And the fact that I don't own this data, I'm kind of interpreting it, dissecting it and evaluating it for you guys. I'm going to look at three time frames in the past three years, Q2 of 2016, 2017 and 2018. I'll be looking through each of the market shares and also the top three phones of that year in terms of popularity. And with that, let's travel back to Q2 of 2016, where Samsung is top dog, a sign of things to come, with Apple in a modest second place, falling quite far behind Samsung, and with Huawei in third place, with a decent drop off from there, at least in percentages. But notice how even two and a half years ago, five of the top nine manufacturers were Chinese, with big names like Sony, HTC and Motorola, not even making the top 10 list. Around this time, the top phones from Q2, it's quite easy to see why the statistics stood where they did. Samsung's S7 and Edge models were a great success, and Apple's success has been a vast improvement over last year's model. Huawei has just started to create some interest in the West, but it would only be a peep compared to the leap that they would make later on. Moving into Q2 of 2017, Samsung has gained a little, Huawei has gained massively, now on par with Apple, and further down the table we see a certain underdog make some decent progress. This year would be the start to the race of zero bezels, with Samsung unveiling its infamous Infinity display and making leaps to be the best designed smartphone in its class. Apple releases its first dual camera smartphone with an omission of a certain port and Huawei continues to expand and diversify its fleet of phones to appeal to the masses. Most recently in Q2 of 2018, Samsung has dipped just a tad, Apple have stayed roughly the same, but Huawei have clearly and handily overtaken the bigwigs at Cupertino and are now firmly in second place. But oddly enough, it's not this statistic that is the most jarring. Xiaomi has leaped into fourth place, shaking up the Chinese smartphone market for sure. To be honest, Huawei's massive table jump doesn't really surprise me. After all, they released their world popular, famous P20 series in Q2 and made headlines across the globe, despite not even being able to release officially in the US, which makes it clear to see why they overtook Apple. Apple had released their newly notched handset to shake up the chin and forehead design, and Samsung released a more polished S8. Great releases in themselves, but not quite up there with the Chinese competitor. I'm surprised that HTC didn't make it up there in the top nine throughout any of the testing. There's someone who in the West and in the UK sells really well, and, and maybe that's a bit indicative of the fact that it's a worldwide market share research campaign and not just the Western one. One that I really didn't expect to be up there was Vivo. Now, I know Vivo made the Next S and some really cool looking phones this year and last year, but they also didn't seem to stand out to me compared to other brands. Like, yes, okay, over here we've heard of Vivo and they're starting to come back in. But over in China, they are like one of the biggest manufacturers and I honestly didn't know that. My prediction is that we'll see Huawei permanently take that number two spot and stay there. I'm not sure if they'll ever really beat Samsung purely because Samsung just has such a large stake in pretty much everything and is part of Korea's growing economy. But at the same time, Huawei's smartphones are becoming more popular. And I see Apple maybe being overtaken by Xiaomi in the coming years, mainly because Apple's kind of on a decline at the moment. Why do I think the market share is the way it is now? We're finally getting some more interesting phones and they're all coming from a certain well-known country. They're taking over pretty much all of the boring phones that we'd usually see in carrier stores. And as long as they continue to basically destroy every other company, I think we'll see them in the top three and top five. And that's about it from me. Hopefully you enjoyed this statistical video. I love making these. ROMs are going on the Poco phone. I'm on my second stage of testing. I'm going to do five stages of testing and then release that video to you guys. Also, there will be a bonus video coming out very soon. So stay tuned to that. Please do like, dislike, comment and subscribe to never miss a video like this one. Also check out links will all be in the video description below as always. I'm really glad that I'm able to do this and a lot of that is because of you guys at Patreon. So thank you so much for your support. It really does help me out. Anyway, I've been Ron Thomas for Failtech and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.